I'm here with the, the Mandelas, and I, I thank both of you for the work you've been doing. It's incredibly important and incredibly impressive. So many people at home watching this interview will just want to know, uh, how does your grandfather's legacy weigh on you? I think there's, uh, there's pressure that comes with any great legacy, ultimately, um, whether it's Nelson Mandela's or it's you know, your own. Uh, I think what's important, ultimately, is that we don't sit idly by um, and watch the world go past us. We have a chance to make a huge impact on the future, ultimately, uh, to take messages to audiences around the world and really galvanize people around ending something that my granddad felt was inhumane um, and had trapped so many people. There's 1.2 billion people around the world who are still in extreme poverty, and if our voices can be heard, there's a really good chance we'll end it by 2030. What about you? How does your grandfather's legacy change what you're doing today? Um, you know, it, for me, it doesn't really change, but it adds, you know, it adds more uh, uh, oomph, it adds more power to giving us the, you know, the confidence to go out there and actually talk to the people, like my cousin Kweku said, you know, giving us that, um, you know, that real, that, 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 that comfort, you know, um, and, and really support from the people, because the amount of love, the amount of um, admiration that the people had for our grandfather, it really makes our job a little bit easier, you know, because people already identify and are together, you know, so it's really a, a great honor to be in this position. Kweku, what do you most want to see for South Africa today? What needs to change most? I think we have a, a huge uh, problem with HIV and AIDS in South Africa, um, and so one of the major things is young people need to be aware. You know, if we can stop new infections, uh, that's a huge way of stopping this transferring to a new generation. I also think South Africa plays a crucial role within Africa and I think the world uh, in terms of stopping poverty. You know, over 20 years ago, before we had democracy in our country, you had over 63% of the population living in poverty. Um, we've now been able to change that over the last 20 years and bring 40% of, of those people out of it. And so I'd say we play a leadership role um, in demonstrating to Africans, and I think the African continent, but also to the world, that it's possible to ultimately change the outcome um, of our world and of you know, our nation. What needs to change in South Africa to address those public health problems like HIV AIDS? Well, obviously, I think education goes uh, without saying. You know, education is really the key uh, tool that you can use to change the world. So, you know, we need to make sure that the way our government administers education in the government schools needs to be much better. You know, we've had issues before where they were unable to deliver textbooks. Uh, they were not unable to reach the kids. So, you know, education is definitely one of the key uh, areas that really need to change. And we need to really bolster and get behind uh, not just the government, but to make sure that civil society, the private sector, uh, and ordinary people doing what they can to make sure that, you know, people are getting access to good education. Thank you both of you for carrying forward that important legacy. Really appreciate your time. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much.